Kenya plans to introduce genetically modified cassava seeds as the country plans to increase production. The Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization has already applied to the National Biosafety Authority, which is in the final stages of approving the seed. Kenya produces 1.5 tons of cassava annually, valued at 22 billion shillings. Despite cassava providing dietary and energy needs for more than 500,000 homesteads in the country, production has been declining due to a combination of poor seeds and low market yields. Last year, the country produced 973,000 tons of cassava, all of which were sold and consumed in the country. Going forward, this is a very important crop because it is used as food, it is used as feed, it is used in industry. And we think that uh, farmers in the arid and semi-arid areas of this country can be able to benefit from this uh, crop. Currently, it is grown in 12 counties, Busia being the leading county, but other counties include uh, Kisumu, uh, Mtuapa, Kitui, Machakos, and several others. To boost the uptake of the crop, the government published the flow blending policy regulations to create market linkages between farmers and processors where cassava was proposed to be used with maize or wheat flour to produce highly nutritious composite flour. Uh, we hope to train farmers so that they can apply good agronomic practices with varieties with high yield potential and once we have increased the productivity there's the challenge of market. And we are addressing that challenge of market through value addition. However, millers have over the years complained lack of enough cassava in the Kenyan market. The Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization Director General Elliot Kiergel says Carlo has embarked on training extension staff and service providers from counties implementing the Kenya Climate Smart Agricultural Productivity Project that seeks to boost the production of the crop in the country. Speaking during a cassava value chain training of trainers meeting at the Carlo Field offices in Mtuapa, Kiraged says the project targets to train 500,000 smallholder farmers in the three counties of Kisumu, Busia and Lambu. So part of the training we are doing today is on post-service management. That is value addition so that they can be able to prolong the life of the, of the, of the product so that they, they don't create a clot in the market. Currently most of it is just used for cooking. Very little is going into the industry. But if the industry opens up, and also the industry cannot open up if we don't have enough uh, planting material. Cassava is the third most important food and cash crop in the world and accounts for a third of the total production of staple food crops in sub-Saharan Africa. Carlos says the genetically modified cassava is resistant to cassava brown streak disease, a common viral disease present in Kenya that attacks the crop. O'Brien came at for lunchtime, Business News.